Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new cruise vlog! Yay. So we are at our first point of call! Stavanger! Stavanger! Martin's enjoying his tea out on the balcony and look at this! <gasps> we are so close to the port! All these beautiful white houses. We're gonna go on a little explore soon after we have breakfast. Yes, uh, I was supposed to go to the gym, but I was lazy. You're gonna go tomorrow? Uh, no, no later. later today. I'm gonna go later. So, right, you're on holiday. And I have, I've been here before. I came here when I did uh, when I worked the cruise. And uh, if you keep walking that way, all the way around, you get into like the main section as well. Yeah. So we don't have an excursion booked for today. We're just gonna explore ourselves. We've done a little bit of research online. I've screenshotted a travel blog um, with a few like of the main points of interest. But yeah, we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna explore. We don't have to be back on board until 4.30. We'll probably come back a little bit before then. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a lovely day. So we lucked out again here at breakfast with a lovely view having some pastries. To the gangway! We are off the ship. It feels so weird to be back on land. <laughs> <laughs> but it is huge! So so our balcony is somewhere just below that top level. Just below like really where the, the big windows are, yeah. And we're in the middle so we're kind of where it dips there, I think. Oh no, we're, I think we're over there. Yeah. We're there because when we on our balcony, you can see that down. hanging oh, down. Yeah, I think we're there. Yeah. So we've come off the ship, and then instead of going like into the main bit, we've come over to the side. It says old banger. I saw this sign from our cabin. I saw this sign. I saw this sign. <laughs> <laughs> First developed in the 17th and 18th centuries. City fires severely damaged the area on several occasions. Most buildings date from 1820 to 1870. And there are all these white buildings. So there's 173 wooden homes. Europe's best preserved settlement. And each one has like a colourful door. Here's an example of one of the bright doors. Would definitely recommend walking through the old um, like village there. It was beautiful. I was just saying that the it houses. just goes to show like so as a crew member I came here quite a few times but like I didn't really truly explore mainly because like when you get you want to just try and find Wi Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> so you just go to like the nearest cafe because <laughs> you have to be back within a couple of hours. But then, as a guest, like you have the whole day. So, yeah, definitely, it's literally opposite where you get off the ship. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would head right a little bit and then walk through uh, where all the white houses are. It's just so picturesque, so pretty, so many photo spots. I think the place I got off and went for a coffee actually is down there. <laughs> but we're going to go this way first. This way, and then we'll probably come back and walk through here. Yeah. So we got the oldest cathedral in Norway, but it's under heavy restoration. We oh closed. yeah, because in 2025, that's going to be the cathedral's 900 year jubilee. Oh wow. Swans! It is so hot today and I wasn't really expecting this from, from the trip. Norway, yeah. So like packing, I think we'll both admit that we maybe packed like over the amount that, although actually we, actually, only brought, we only brought two cases. Two full cases, whereas I think you're allowed to bring as many cases as you want on yeah. the ship. As long as they don't exceed 23 And our steward was like, um, is this it? Yeah, <laughs> so we thought we'd overpacked. Because <laughs> um, like we've brought jumper, we've brought every eventuality. <laughs> yeah, I do believe though that this is the hottest and as we get further up north, um, it gets colder and colder. Ah, uh, okay. 
So I do think it will slightly get colder and colder. But yeah, it's a glorious day. We're on the hunt for some colourful buildings. So we've seen all the white wooden houses, now we're looking for some colourful ones. Oh, there's lots of shops. There's a Zara, Specsavers, yeah, all fair. kinds. If we docked here as crew, we'd be straight in those, wouldn't we? Yeah. Just as a crew member, you'd always look for like little slices of home. Yeah. There was like a Zara, an H&M. Um, I don't know, it just, it made you feel, you know. Yeah, a bit as of, much yeah. As the traveling was amazing. It was also really nice to just have those little touches of home. Mm. Just go shopping for the day. I like the name of this shop. Things with a story. Have a look. Yeah. Every great design begins with an even better story. These are actually soap, but they look like stone. Here we are, colourful buildings, orange, blue, yellow, green. So this street is called, this is going to be very pronounced wrong, Ovre Holmgate. Um, so it's called the Colour Street. So this is considered Stavanger's Notting Hill sort of the most bustling part of Savannah and they didn't start painting them until 2005. 2005, so it's relatively like new. I mean 2005 is a while ago, uh, but I always <laughs> in my head, the 90s feels like that long ago. You said it was because a hairdresser wanted hair to create cool. more of a buzz around yeah. his business in the street. Yeah, and it kind of worked, <laughs> just inside a bar and look at these steps. <laughs> you can buy books from here as well. So this is where we are. And then we are sat at the window. I like this latte glass. A pear and apple sparkling drink. So a taste test. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can taste the pear. It's nice. <laughs> I like these caricatures that they've got on the wall of different people and different quotes. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Mark Twain. I really liked it in there. It's really lovely. And lovely then did, and relaxing. Didn't show it, but like the toilets were some of the best toilets I've ever been in. They had <laughs> like, like a living room. <laughs> rows of books and nice artwork and there was even like an old fashioned radio in there. It was very well decorated. <laughs> I think this is a cinema, film theatre. It's like quite an old one. Yeah, I love the design. And the Little Mermaid. We actually went to see this. Did we ever see it? What we thought? No, we thought it wasn't it... in a vlog. Yeah. We loved it. We thought it was one of the best live actions that yeah. they've done. Really, really loved it. And I don't know if I'm wrong, but when I was looking at like things to do in Stavanger, it said that there was a library, and I think this might be it. You can see some books up there. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, a bibliotheque. Oh, I think you can. Grab a CD and then listen to it in the chair. So that library is very cool, it's huge. And it had loads of nice working spaces as well. And then, then this is the Odeon. So oh. this must be connected to that, what we saw outside. And then yeah, Barbie, is it out yet? No. 21st of July. <laughs> Speaking of movies, got my Indiana Jones cap on. It's coming out 30th of June. I've still got watch number four. Oh yes. And then I'm up to date. That'll be an intriguing watch for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come back down to the port area and then we're gonna have a little wander along here. So it's actually quite good to come on this side because we can get a full length view of the ship.
Right, so we saw the lake, we saw the wooden houses. Wooden houses, old Stavanger. The cathedral, the library. Coloured buildings, the library, yeah, I think the, we've conquered quite a bit. The shops and stuff, we walked through that bit as well. So we think now we're going to head back to the ship. Uh, I'm going to head to the gym, I believe, because I think a few people will still be off. So Probably a good time to go. Might be a bit quieter, and then you're going to have a chill in the cabin. Have a little chill in the cabin, and then we'll probably go. But we weren't going to have lunch here, but then we thought we might as well have lunch back on the ship. Mm. Um, so we're going to head back and have lunch there. I'd say that if you don't have any excursions booked for some of these places, if, you, if there's ever like a hop on, hop off bus, they're always quite good to utilise, aren't they? Yeah, especially if you don't want to walk a lot, but I think there's a little route here so we can see where it actually goes. Mm -hmm. So I think this is actually a lot of the places that we found when we were walking around. Yeah, I think you can definitely walk this because we saw the cathedral, the colourful streets. We probably walked past that museum. I definitely saw that tower. We saw the streets of the old Stavanger. Um, that brewery that's quite nearby. So I feel like you could walk it as well. Yeah, but the, uh, the hop on hop off bus is just a, another option. So I don't know if you can see like right at the top there, looks like a waterfall, that's the infinity pool. Full circle, we're back to the wooden white houses. Yeah, you definitely could miss walking through there if you just head straight off and... Went. Yeah, I mean I did every single time I was here. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a workout. Oh, <laughs> um, the gangway is on deck three and uh, I said to Helena, let's walk! So we went from deck three to deck 15 up the stairs. <laughs> That's my workout. <laughs> I try and take the stairs whenever possible, but yeah, uh, I, think, when you're on deck 15. I think Helmer's regretting that decision. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're greeted back with this wonderful view. So I don't want to be too intrusive when I go at the gym, so I'm not going to take this camera, but I'll take my phone along and maybe get some clips depending on how busy it is. But I'm about to start filming something for Helena. <laughs> Helena's become a bit of a, uh, what is it, Jane McDonald? Jane McDonald, cruising with Jane. Become a Jane McDonald super fan. <laughs> so, you've seen some sort of TikTok that you want to recreate. Martin is, I was about to say, home from the gym. Ah. The cabin feels like home. It does. It was our home for a long time, yes. but it wasn't as nice, <laughs> nice as this one. Um, but Martin is back from the gym. I just had a chill. How long were you? About an hour and a half in the end. I think so, yeah. I watched a bit of Dear Evan Hansen. It's quite a long film, actually, because I didn't get to the end of it. Um, but it was on the cruise TV, um, and I've never seen it before. I love the music. Oh, so you had. No, I haven't seen the... Um, I haven't seen either. I haven't seen the musical, and I haven't seen the film. But I know the music, and yeah. um, but I enjoyed that. Um, and then I uh, that was it, that was about it. Had a cup of tea, <laughs> um, but we're gonna head and get some food. Oh. We think we're gonna go to the Keys, it's kind of becoming our lunchtime spot. We, I think I might get the southern fried chicken oh, as well. I think I'm getting chicken and chips. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>
we are now back in the cabin. We went for some food at the Keys, which was lovely. We had fish and chips again. It's always a good shout, isn't it? Yeah, I might have had some chicken after. <laughs> and then we went and had some ice cream at Ripples because we hadn't tried it yet. Really good. I haven't asked you yet how yours was. Oh, it was really lovely. What flavour did you get? Hazelnut. Hazelnut and I got Oreo and strawberry, two different scoops, both really, really good. Um, but then as soon as we finished um, paying for our ice creams, we heard some singing um, in like the grand atrium. So we went over there and it was the Stavanger Gospel Company and we kind of just stumbled across them. We did read that they were going to be on, yeah. uh, but we forgot. But I'm so glad that we stumbled across it because they were so good. Um, really powerful singing um it blew us away by the end there was quite a lot of people in tears um like just at how moving it was and um how it was just powerful wasn't it yeah it really was it just goes to show how how music can make you feel yeah they were singing from the heart like completely um, that, so that was only a few of them though, there's over 70 members. Um, but it was really, really good. So that was, we just stumbled across that. Um, so we watched that and now we're back in the room and we're just gonna have a little chill out before we go for some dinner, probably later. I think we're gonna chill out for a couple of hours just in the cabin. You know what I might put on? What? If I'm allowed, be me Rhapsody. Go on then. So I just thought I'd mention that the two times that we've been up to the Keys recently, I've had <laughs> incidents where I've been asked for the salt by like another table. So I had somebody the other day ask me for salt the other, on a different table. And then today someone asked me to put the salt on their food. Yeah. Um, and then I go into this like, because I've mentioned in the Brighton vlog that in the past I suffered from like social anxiety and that can sometimes still like reappear. So whenever anybody <laughs> asks me for, when, the, when they've asked me for the salt, I've been I'm like... I'm not laughing at your social anxiety, I'm laughing at the salt. <laughs> yeah, I've been like, which one's the salt? Is it the, is that the salt or is it the pepper? Is that the pepper? Or is, that the, is there anyone else go through these sorts of things? Because you don't want the the person who's asking to think that you're like a fool. But then, like, it's just funny. It keeps happening. <laughs> like, in what like in normal life, people don't ask you for salt this often. <laughs> and in the past two days, but then you've I, been asked about salt. And then uh, I picked up the sugar <laughs> today. I had to take over. <laughs> oh, so I'm on edge. I'm on edge when I go up there. But Someone's going to ask me for the salt. I keep laughing just because <laughs> every person that interacts with you I just think they're going to ask you for salt. <laughs> <laughs> Helmer's getting anxious, like watching people, seeing whether they're getting on board on time. <laughs> There's a few instances when we worked on the ships. And like they'd do a tannoy announcement saying like can you please hurry up and get on board <laughs> and then as we get ready to sail away we got a hebrew rhapsody oh, i love of, the music in this loads of people running in <laughs> <laughs> so we just had the announcement from the captain we're about to head off and on our way to ollisund um this is a nice park on the balcony yeah so we're gonna to gonna enjoy the sail away from here Ten to seven. We're just about to head out for the evening. We got our plans of what we're gonna go and watch. But the captain said that tonight might be a bit foggy, so the horn might go at random bits. That's just to notify any other like ships that's in the area that were there. But it's good that you mentioned it so that people didn't get anxious when they heard it. So tonight for food, we're doing things a bit differently. We're not booking into any of the restaurants. Instead, we're gonna have something a bit quicker. We're gonna go up to, I think it's called Taste 360? Yes. And it's up in the Sky Dome. And you just, I saw it yesterday as I was walking back from grabbing some stuff from the buffet. And they had like hot dogs that were quickly serving and pizza. So yeah, we're gonna pop there, have that. And then we're gonna watch the rock show. The rock show. And it's in the Sky show. Dome. Oh, I haven't shown my little outfit. Oh, yes. So this is a new H&M number, little green dress. 
And then I have some Ana Luisa jewellery on. And these are really old. These are old sandals that I actually wore on our ship contracts when we worked. So they're at least four years old. And we're strangely sort of matching. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We've gone for green tonight. Like my trousers. <laughs> so they were already there, on, like on a hot plate. Uh, so keep them warm. So we've got the hot dog and the cheeseburger. Yeah. And then that's where the show is happening. Pina colada and a lumba. <laughs> relaxing music. <laughs> Absolutely love Tom Ball. It was amazing. He was incredible. Probably my favourite thing I've watched yeah, so far. He's got an album coming Loved out in it November. so much. Yes he does. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got table tennis and other deck games as well like deck coats and things. We've actually found these by mistake because we can't find <laughs> the crow's nest. <laughs> we, we've been along here, back there, everywhere. Oh, hold up. We're trying to catch the pianist, and she finishes in fifty. She finishes in fifteen minutes now. We found it. It was quite easy, really. We just had to come up the uh, forward staircase to seventeen. <laughs> we found it. Can you hear the piano? The piano vocalist is playing. We call it. They finish in about ten minutes. We made it. <laughs> and. <laughs> we were very lucky because uh, a couple left this table by the window. So I got myself an old speckled hen. What's that? Passion fruit martini. <laughs> so we enjoyed uh, the rock set earlier so much that we've come back to watch another one and it's different songs. And the headliners theatre company are performing 10 minutes before. <laughs> getting crackers turned into this. <laughs> Isn't this the best thing about a cruise though? <laughs> the midnight buffet. Look at this though, it is. That's crazy. It is 20 past 11. Those blues are beautiful. Oh, what's that? It's not a cruise ship. Look at the colours, the lights. Oh yeah. That's like a painting. That's why it's called the midnight sun. How's this for a setup? Midnight Buffet, Devil Wears Prada, Horizon. Morning! So a bit of a change in weather today. I know, I was thinking that. <laughs> Jeans and um, the jumper. So here we are, Olison, and it's a little bit rainy. It's a little bit rainy. So over there, I think that's one of the places that we're going to walk up to. You get some good views later on. Don't have to be back on till 5.30, yeah. So we're gonna have, we're up a little bit later, 
we've missed out on the times for the actual sit down restaurants so we're going to head to the buffet yeah so I think the restaurants I think once they've got enough people to take them to the point where it's going to close half nine yeah they, uh, they close the queues so even though it's not got to the half end of nine. the restaurant times yet the queues full now Yes, so I'd probably recommend booking in before nine just to be on the safe side because uh, it's quarter past nine now and they're closed. So we had breakfast in the buffet. Hori it's Horizons. Horizon. That was our first time actually. Yeah. We've been to the midnight buffet. Yeah, uh, it's quite busy in the mornings it for is the busy. for the morning buffet. I think I much prefer going to the restaurants. Mm. Um, but yeah, got to be a little bit more early than we were. <laughs> we were lazy. <laughs> but then we got this ship next to us. And I've downloaded, well not downloaded, I've screenshotted a walking tour that I found online. So we'll see whether or not we can actually follow that. Apparently it goes all the way through the town and then it stops just at the bottom of this mountain here yeah. and then we're going to climb up that mountain to the top. So we've been off the ship a little bit. Uh, we didn't show the port area itself but we're actually making our way to where we think uh, the, walking the walking tour, tour starts. starts yeah. <laughs> so we'll make sure that we put a link to the blog that I found uh, to do with this walking tour. So we believe that it starts here. So this statue is in memory of the 320 Norwegians who lost their lives on land or at sea following the escape route across the North Sea to Allied harbours during the German occupation 1940 to 1945. So the next bit it tells you to go to Kongens Gate which I think is this street here. Some beautiful examples of Art Nouveau architecture. So we've got number 28 here, which is inspired by Central European Art Nouveau, and then we'll show you number 25. And this is very different. This is inspired by Old Norse design. Taking inspiration from Stave Church buildings in Norway. And this building's different again. This is Gate 21, inspired by Norwegian dragon style, drew its motifs from the Norwegian Viking period. I love this street. You've definitely got to uh, sort of look down both sides. Architecture is so different, and this might be my favorite one. That one in the middle that's really narrow. The shape results from the rebuilding after a fire. It broadens out as it goes back. The building is so narrow that access to the upper floors is via the neighbor's front door. Troll of Norway on his motorbike. It's like Norwegian sweaters. Lots and lots of trolls. So here we've got a statue of a paper boy which was donated in 1998. So this building is clad in local light marble. I like the archways with like the you faces on. Face? Yeah. The buildings here probably if you walk past on first glance you'd just be like, oh yeah. But then <laughs> when you look closer they're all yeah. so so different and like weirdly unique. Mm. I'm so sorry, I think I'm getting everything wrong in terms of how you say it. Uh, former trade union building completed in 1906. It is now one of Norway's finest public festivity centres. I don't know if this is the actual excursion uh, that was offered on the ship, but I think there is one that does the same thing, where you can kayak through uh, Olesund, through the strait. I will say that if you don't download like the full bought for 
walking tour, if you just read off the blog, it does need a little bit of detective work. <laughs> it just doesn't have like a route, so you have to sort of use, you can either like guess and use yeah. like the photos or put it into Google Maps. And the photos are actually, so like you'd think that it would list something then the photo underneath would be that thing, but it's not. The photo underneath it is actually the next thing that you're yes. going to see, so that'll be a bit Easy. helpful. <laughs> It's good though, it's, yeah. it's taking us around everything, which is nice. Yeah, definitely. So this statue is commemorating the role of women here in Ullison. They were primarily the sellers of fish. So we're on the hunt for the church now, and I think we're going to try and take pit stop as well. Yeah. A bit parched. <laughs> I was just gonna say we've got um, tonight's entertainment that we're seeing. <laughs> we're excited. We're going to the Limelight Club, which is uh, it's like got an additional price. Uh, it sells out quite quickly though, doesn't it? It does. We booked it a couple of months in advance. In the end, is oh it? no, a month in advance. I think you could. And book is it. it a three course meal? Three course meal. I think there's a band on, and then Gareth Gates. Yeah, so <laughs> the, the person switches, but uh, first we're seeing is Gareth Gates. Which is like my childhood. <laughs> Do you remember Pop Idol? Oh yeah. Well, him and Will Young. That started it off, didn't it? Yeah. The, all the shows. Put in the comments if you wanted Gareth Gates to win or if you wanted Will Young to win. <laughs> I actually can't remember who I was like rooting for. I feel like the country was divided. There was Gareth <laughs> Gates on one side and Will Young on the other. Quite hilly around this section, but I've got me walking boots on because we're going to do that walk at the end up yeah. the hill and it is a lot hotter than yeah. I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't wear my jumper. I was so close to wearing a jumper because when I looked outside it was so grey and now the sun's out. And it was raining as well, yeah, so. What is the, uh, the temperature is? Oh wow, I love these style of buildings. 15 degrees but it feels warm. So this is the Ollison Church. So this is, it says here it's not an old church, 1909, however the old church stood on the same site. We've got a couple of streets like this that are reminding us of uh, like Inside Out and oh Mrs Doubtfire. I think they're in San Francisco aren't they? Yeah well based around Steep Hill. <laughs> this is the ship that's next to us. This is the Holland America Line Rotterdam. This is Ullison Town Hall one of the classic 1970s style office buildings in Norway it has been voted the second ugliest building in Norway. We came inside the uh, 70s building and it's a bit of a shopping centre. Shopping centre. Cafe. I mean, this is definitely where you'd go, get all your toiletries, your <laughs> things up here. We need a pit stop. We've stopped off and it's another cafe latte <laughs> and they're a Pepsi. Coins. Sorry, their coins have like little holes in them. <laughs> oh blimey, this is steep. <laughs> we are trying to conquer Axla Mountain. <laughs> I need the Rocky theme tune. 400 and something steps. But this hill is uh, probably harder. This is. <laughs> it's very pretty around here, though, isn't it? Yep, and we're going to go all the way up there. We're off. I've set it as a walking exercise on my Fitbit so I can time how long it takes us. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> We're at eight minutes. Oh, James is not the one. <laughs> uh, bear in mind, it's quite narrow, uh, the stairs, so just take your time. They do have some seats as well, as you're on your way up. You can see the top. <laughs> so you can walk up, but I also saw taxis out the front, so I think you can even get a taxi here if you want. I think it is definitely worth it for this incredible view. All the mountains in the background. Yeah. And then there's our ship. Look at the size comparison. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, when I was walking up, I was like, oh, that's quite a big one as well. But actually when you get up here, mm. that one is still so much bigger. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to check my watch to see how long it took <laughs> to get up. I know. I think it was only about 10 to 15 minutes. We yeah. stopped maybe once or twice yeah. for like a couple of seconds. Well, it depends as well. Like if there's loads of people coming down, you might have to wait a bit. But yeah, it doesn't take a lot that it's long not really. It's as long as you think. <laughs> so on the way down and on the way up, there's this little glass viewing platform as well. Oh, you feel like you're... <laughs> so we think we explored Holland successfully. I feel like we saw quite a lot. Did quite a lot. Yeah, I feel like we did really good actually. So we're now going to head back to the ship and we're going to go and grab some food and then have a bit of a relax before the Limelight Club. Very excited for this evening. Also, we're hoping to get ready a little bit early so that we can watch the sail away from our balcony. Um, the surrounding mountains look beautiful. Got a Sin City burger, chicken and chips, and we've come to eat it inside the clubhouse. And they're actually doing Wallace and Gromit uh, clay Meet making. And, greet and clay making around the corner. Mm. There's Wallace. You've seen him. It's a sighting. Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Brought a little selection back to the room and we're gonna take these out on the balcony. Our neighbour is leaving. Hi neighbour, are you? Mm -hmm. We shall be letting go our lines as we prepare to cast off for our next port of call, Oldham. We decided that tomorrow we want to be up early so that we can watch the sail into Alden because apparently it's meant to be spectacular. We can see it on the way out as well, but I don't know, something about getting up in the morning. And we thought we would have breakfast in the room. So there's a 2.50 delivery charge, but we're going to do it this morning because we've also got a tour at nine, so we just want to make sure that we're all fed and watered. <laughs> so we just write down uh, everything we want delivered, uh, but we just have to leave this on the cabin door before 10 p.m. So we're about to go out. We'll put also, it on the door now. It'll be a bit of a wake-up call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in case we sleep in. We're off to the Limelight Club. So also, if you notice I haven't been wearing my rings, it's because I had it on the start of the cruise and then I think my hand swelled because it was really hot and then I like forced it off and now my fingers bruised and the rings won't go back on. <laughs> It's so sparkly. So this is a pre-starter, a little bruschetta. So to start, I went with the ham hock, and Helena's gone for the salmon. Salmon, which I rarely have actually, so a little bit of a treat. That was delicious. Really nice. So we've had our starter, then we're going to have some live music, then we're going to have our main course and dessert, dessert. and then Gareth Gates. <laughs> So I decided to change it up and I've gone for the sea bass. Ooh. Helena's looks good. I've gone for the beef. You're going to get food envy. <laughs> I actually can't remember what this is, but it's, it's called a bomber. I think it's a white chocolate, dark chocolate bomber. <laughs> <laughs>
chat about Gareth Gates later on the oh, Limelight Club. So <laughs> it was so good, yeah, we'll just say that for now. But we just came to get some pictures here in the cinema bit because we think this is really cool. So they've had to unfortunately cancel the aerial show tonight due to unforeseen circumstances, but they've got something in its place and it's Nikki Sims. Nikki Sims, yeah, a vocalist. Um, so we're going to watch that with a drink and then we'll chat about Gareth when we get back to the <laughs> room because it was so good. After an amazing evening of entertainment, wasn't it? Oh yeah, like the, so past, the past two nights, like yesterday's entertainment was fantastic. Where we went to see like the rock show, and yeah, stuff, and then tonight, that lime, like the food, that was my favourite meal. Yeah, the food was so so good, and then Gareth Gates was so good. Ooh. I loved it. He had such a lovely stage presence, and he sung some songs with just the guitar oh, like acoustic songs and like that really complemented his voice and like he, he just guitar, he brought it brought it all down to like really mm. soft singing and it was gorgeous and yeah i really loved it yeah it's a real highlight of our trip that limelight club i'd highly recommend it the food was good the atmosphere was great <laughs> that's my <Lovely>. shoes <laughs> squeaking lovely to just um sit back and enjoy a singer as well after Really, really like that. And then <laughs> we planned to see Rise, which was the acrobat show, uh, but that was cancelled. So we ended up seeing... Nikki Sims. Yeah, you're good at names. Nikki Sims. And she sung lots of big songs. Um, She's one of the Voxens. One of the Voxens. And she was incredible as well. She sang some hard songs. And she <laughs> yeah. sung them well. She was really, really good. Um, I think we got a couple of clips and she also sung a song from Ghost which I love called With You. Mm -hmm. She sang that beautifully and yeah just back to the cabin now. We're going to get a good night's sleep hopefully um, because we want to be up early to watch the sail in to Alden because apparently it's beautiful. <laughs> so we're going to set our alarms for like six, half yes, six. Yes, I think so. Um, we did put the rise and dine breakfast thing outside our door, so thing is still there. Yeah. So we're not sure if someone's picked it up, but fingers crossed we'll get breakfast delivered. I mean, in the we'll morning. wait till we'll wait till half seven, and if if not, doesn't we'll, arrive, then we'll have to go somewhere. We'll go get some food. Um, but then we're heading into Olden, and we are hiking the Briscoe Glacier. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Um, but we are very excited for that. I think the views are going to be epic. <laughs> um, but that will be in the next vlog because we're going to leave this vlog here. So a huge thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our day in Stavanger and then our day in... Ollison. today. And then all of the ship <laughs> um, evenings as well. We're having a lovely holiday. Oh, it's yeah. really nice. It's It's weird. It's like different because obviously we've haven't been on holiday on a cruise together yeah. but it's also nostalgic at the same time because you know we haven't been on holiday but we worked on a cruise for so long mm. and there's um, similarities that there, yeah there are some real big similarities um so yeah we're loving it and yeah thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one if you like this one hit the like button and also subscribe bye toodle pipski i'll be your